Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Resident Evil 4. Hey, that rhymes. Um, where we last left off, Louis Sarah died. Um, kind of not valiantly, but at least he did uh, bring us some medicine that will suppress the parasites that we have inside of our bodies. Um, he did mention the importance of finding or getting the same. Well, he didn't mention the importance. He just said that, you know, he was a researcher hired by Salazar or Sadler. And that <clears throat> when they found out he was trying to steal the sample, you know, badness ensued. Um, and that's where we're at, you know. So let's go ahead and let's check. They'll pay for your death, I promise. Okay, Leon, you knew this guy for all of a day, maybe. Um, but yeah, whatever. Yes. Oh, we're getting the gold. There was another one of those that I uh, missed in the um, in the room where the um, the first like blind Wolverine monster is. I don't know if you can... Oh, yeah, you can hear her. There she is. That's our girl. I mean, like, look, look. I'm not going to say she's not annoying. There, are, She's got an annoying voice. She's always acting helpless. Um, but generally, I don't have any problems with Ashley. Okay, game. Like, you see, you see what I'm doing here? All right. Hush. You're the one who went and stood in that stupid trap. Hey. Now what? Talk about near death experience. I don't know. I mean, and go where, Leon? Where is she supposed to go? Oh god, that's she's gonna have some severe issues whenever she's done with this. Just you know. Oh, not the right time to reload. Oh, and it fell on her or through her? Is she a ghost? Um no, she's not. Uh go to the door. Oh no, it's locked. Dude, we got super lucky. Look who just came through the door. Hey, 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 asshole. Hey, I don't like that. Oh, that was a risky shot. I got the key. I can get out. Okay, do that, please. Where does that door go, I wonder? <gasps> oh, where Ashley now? Hold on. Take a drink. So we're playing as Ashley. Let's look at our inventory. Oh, look. Oh, and she's like very, um, like, yeah. Okay. So as Ashley, we don't have any weapons and we don't really have much of anything, but Hey, guy. You want to chase me? Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, that super sucked. 
Okay. Well, we're not going to do that. We're not going to waste our time. You can kill them if you use the, um, the little lanterns, but um, I'm not going to do that. Can I get this? Nope, he's going to see me. Oh, hey, what if I go through here? Haha, <laughs> you can't get me. Okay, so he's going to catch on fire. Technically, I think it takes two of them. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so he's dead. I don't have to worry about him. I think. I hope. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Dude, you suck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought it took two of them, not three. All right, so now we're just gonna have to trap them. Come on, guys. Stupid idiot, guys. So we got one. That didn't kill him, so we're just gonna close this gate again. Leave him over there by himself. But that's fine. I mean, hey, we're uh, resourceful. You know. Hey, look, red herb. Red herb. Let's go in here. Dude, shut up. Ashley, what else can you get? Oh, oh, I didn't read the butler's memo. Knowing that Sir Ramon Salazar had no family, Lord Sadler must have used his strong faith in the Los Illuminados to his advantage to talk Sir Salazar into undoing the seal of the Las Plagas once done by his ancestor. So the butler knew that the Plagas were sealed up, and it appears that uh, Sadler is simply using Salazar probably for money as well as for people. Sir Salazar would never do such a thing unless he was in some way being used unknowingly. Yeah, that's what we thought. Um, I should have seen since the Lord's dirty scheme sooner. I feel I'm partly responsible for all of this. I have no idea as to what the Lord is planning, but Sir Salazar was just being used. Uh, it is too late now, however. Sir Salazar has already taken the Plaga into his body. There's no turning back once the Plaga has turned into an adult in the body. The Plaga Parasite will not die unless the host dies. There is no cure. Perhaps Salazar may have been vaguely aware of the, Lord, of the Lord's plan all along, but it's hard to tell. Nevertheless, there's nothing I can do about it now. I have served the Salazar family for generations, and I am prepared to continue my services until the very end. Yeesh. So, that's uh, interesting. So it's possible that Salazar didn't even really... It's possible that Salazar isn't as villainous. Like, he may not even be aware now of what he's doing. He could just be being used. Or not. Or, or maybe he's just always been a, you know, creepy little man boy. Ooh, press the button. Okay. 
There's got to be more buttons. Anyway, yeah. Don't you do it. I knew it. I super knew it. Ooh, what's this? Stone tablet. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as long as we can get through, right? Money. Precious stones. So, oh, creepy music cue. So in the last episode, I was talking about like playing older games. Well, I was specifically talking about the Scooby-Doo effect. Remember that? Anyway, um, specifically, I had been uh, recently playing Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, and how you know it, it was more thrilling than a lot of recent games that I've played. And you know. I want to say that it's like mostly nostalgia because that game is not great in in um, in, in you know most respects. I mean, it runs like just utter garbage, uh, like. You know, it's just, you know. Oh no, there's still a piece missing. I wonder what it could be. It's the piece that I have. Sweet. Um, you know, like from a technical standpoint, that game is garbage. Like it runs three frames a second when there's a bunch of action, maybe 15 frames a second, you know, when it's like nothing going on. Um, but, is there other stuff? Okay, let me grab this chest first. I hate. I mean, actually, I really enjoyed this, this portion where it's like, hey, you don't have anything right now. And you're just this, this Ashley character who's not super strong. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, oh, God. Well, here it is. Nope. Hey, guys. Not into that. Anyway, but I was thinking that the simplistic, not simplistic, but the, hey, nope. Oh, let's get that. Yep, there it is. Japan. Oh, Japan. Also, where, where, where were these guys? I was like, where did they come from? Because I don't think they were here. Oh, let me, uh, yes. There we go. I don't have to worry about them anymore. No! But at least they just, like, f crash into dust. I don't have to worry about them once they swing, you know. Which is cool. Um, I think, you know, like I said, I think it has to do with nostalgia. To some degree. But, now I can turn this thing. Turn the dais. Yes, I will. Um, but I think it just has to do with, like, sometimes a game, like, is just gameplay, you know? Like, the actual shooting and flying. It's like why Star Fox 64 is, like, infinitely better than the original Star Fox, because, like, the game runs, it's smooth, um, but it's just so much fun to play. Um, and then I have this huge backlog, like, of games 
specifically for PC, for for the specifically for PC. Leon. Leon. You did good. Yeah. Sorry if I was. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Okay, well that's the end of that. You know what? Let's go a little longer on this one. I know I've usually been a bit. Yeah, I've usually just been uh, going by the chapters, but why not go a little longer? Hey, look, Ashley gave us some stuff. Let's uh, do this so that we can sell it. Let's do this so that we have it. And let's play Tetris with our inventory. And that box is upside down. Okay. We'll use this and take a phone call. Hey, what's up? spoiled thanks to your interruption <laughs> you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off wait <laughs> you're nothing but an extra in my script so don't get too carried away okay. your biggest scene is over i don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script well then why don't you show me what a first class script is like through your own actions i'm done with the metaphor the, the acting theater metaphors okay so we've got Ashley now we're gonna go get the Magnum oh nope that's just uh, that's just our friend we've seen him around you know I don't know what my point was about like being more excited to play Star Fox than I am to like play you know. Um, oh, hey, there are guys in here. Okay. I really didn't expect that. Despite the many times I've played this game. Wait. Wait. Oh, nope, you have a scythe. Die. Wow, I am missing a lot of shots. How much handgun ammo do I have? Not a lot, but enough. I, I don't know why I forgot those dudes were there. Alright. Let's go get the Magnum. Okay, the crows aren't back. Are the crows back at the fountain? Can I double dip on the crows? I would so love it if I could. They're not back. Too bad. So, remember this door? It won't open. It's locked from the other side. With a little help from another person, I might be able to get it. Get in from up there. Ashley, go open the door, please. Also, <laughs> you needed help to get up there, so it's going to be a long drop. So don't break your ankles. I don't know how close you are to the other door. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, so we got money. Got red herbs. We got an elegant perfume bottle. And we got the broken butterfly. So this, that's like the best magnum in the game. And I 
Like, I would get the Killer 7 and upgrade it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have, like, a... Um, if, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, it doesn't have a... Uh, like an exclusive upgrade ability. It just upgrades, you know. Um, whereas the Broken Butterfly, if I'm not mistaken, gets like ridiculously powerful. I think it gets like a plus 50 or something. Um, or maybe even higher. Either it gets r ridiculously higher, it gets a ridiculous uh, magazine capacity, which is dumb because it's a cylinder and you can only put, you know, so many holes in so big of a cylinder. But whatever. I mean, it's a video game, right? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't raise that. Somebody else did. That's creepy. Alright, so we've went back. We've got um, a lot of stuff. We're going to upgrade this gun instead of buying it. Hey, guy. Got a selection of good things on this okay, so first thing, we're going to sell some stuff. We're going to sell our incendiary grenades. No, we're going to sell our flash grenades. Thank you. We're going to sell... Yeah. Thank you. Is that all? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? Is that all? Yes. And this. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff, guy. We're going to tune up. So, yeah, the Killer 7, I don't think gets um, an exclusive. But this one goes up to yeah, 28 power. And then if I'm not mistaken, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it goes up to 50. Yeah. So it goes up to 50. Um, you know, that's a lot of power. That can kill a lot of stuff really quickly. You know, so we may use it. I don't know. Uh, we're definitely going to use it, but we're not going to use it on any uh, standard enemies. Um, okay, now, Wait. like, this game, this castle, has been, everything so far has been pretty, Follow you know, you know, like, realistic, very... You know, Wait here. what is this? What What is this contraption? Like, I know it's ridiculous to be like, you know, now, after all the other crazy stuff that's gone on. Like, what is this room even? <laughs> you got literal lava flows under your castle. All... For one box that you're guarding one treasure chest. Like, I don't want to deal with those. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for skipping that, but it's just a treasure chest. Look at like a habit that I have of skipping stuff. Especially in these, but it's just like these treasure chests popping up. You know. As they do. Like, what? Come on. Like, no rational person would put this. This is all the influence of Sadler. Sadler's like, you, you gotta. You gotta put this stuff here. Like, it's part of the faith. You know, the religion. You know, and Salazar's like, "Are you sure?" He's like, "Yeah, man. Like all, all of our, all of our um, institutions have these. You know, all of our." Oh, I did it again! I did it again! 
No. Don't point. It's rude. Oh, wow. His head really popped like a melon. Yeah, I know. Breaks my heart. No! I'm lucky the stairs didn't get destroyed. That makes me think it's not actually lava, that it's just water that's like painted to look like lava. It's like, because Lord Sal La Salazar was like, I can't afford lava. You know how much maintenance upkeep that is? Like, and. So he just like colored the water orange. It's like got elaborate pump system. I was like, look, it looks like lava. It was just orange water. I don't know, man. Okay, let's switch Rooney's back to our hand hand gun. The gun that we use our hands for. Uh, and get out of this place. Get out of here. This place is this place is ridiculous. That's that's why Leon wants to leave. Not because like the 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 Plagas or the president's daughter or whatever. It's just like no, this is just ridiculous. Who spent the time building and, and Wait, come on. Follow no, me. follow me. And making all of this stuff. Like it's too ridiculous. And now we have a roller coaster. Well, I mean, actually, that just kind of makes sense. Like, if you got a giant castle that you live in, like, why wouldn't you put like a little trolley cart thing? You know, wait, just wait there, Ashley. See, people like to talk crap about Ashley, but you tell her to wait, and she waits. You know, no problems. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Okay. Now, um, okay, I got the thing up there. All right. And I think we have, if I'm not mistaken, we have all the things. One, two, three. We have all the things. So you know what I'm going to do? Uh, we're going to save. And we're going to end this episode right here. So I want to thank you guys for watching and joining me uh, in Resident Evil 4. Um... Yeah, we'll see you in the next one.